In this video, we're going to show you how to use Easy Select with Microsoft Word Mail Merge. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is log into your Easy Select account, and from the dashboard, go ahead and select Build a List. And just as you normally would build any list, you're going to want to go ahead and enter your criteria for the list that you want to create and to be able to merge into Microsoft Word. So, if you have a saved list, you can go ahead and use that. For purposes of our demonstration today, I'm just going to say I want all the manufacturers within Evanston, Illinois. And you'll see we have 78 companies here. So, I'm going to go ahead and click on this and get to my search results. Now, you will need the full version of your subscription in order to be able to export this data out of Easy Select. So, if you have a basic version subscription, you'll want to go ahead and upgrade that because the export feature is only available on the full version. But if you have the full version, go ahead and click this green icon in the upper right that says export up to 20,000 company profiles at a time. On the following screen, you're going to see we have a, a few different options here. The record sort, you can leave that defaulted to sorting A through Z. Uh, however, if you do want your mail merge documents to be sorted in a different manner, this is, would be a good opportunity to go ahead and change that. So you could sort it by city or state, for example. But the default A to Z is fine. We're going to want to leave the file type on Excel, CSV. And the record format is important. We want to change this to one record per executive. And the reason for that is we want to create a single record for each company that contains a single executive. This will make it a lot easier for you to work with once you're within Microsoft Word. So go ahead and choose one record per executive. On the submenu that appears, choose select one executive. So again, from the executives to include submenu, go ahead and select one executive as the option. And then a, a third dropdown is going to appear. And this one is where you can choose which title function you want to include in this file. So for example, if I'm targeting information technology executives in my letter, I'm going to go ahead and choose that. And what Easy Select is going to do is it's going to give me the highest ranking IT executive at each company. And if none is available, then it will give me the highest ranking executive period at that company. So a lot of companies do have an IT executive and that person would be included in the file. But maybe if they're a smaller company or they didn't provide the name and title of their IT executive, then in that case, we'll get the highest ranking officer, which might be an owner or a president or a CEO. So once we have those items selected, go ahead and click Export List. On the next screen that appears, this is your CSV file that we're going to use for the mail merge. So just go ahead and right click on that and save link as. And go ahead and just save it somewhere that you can remember easily, for example, to your desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit save. That's done downloading. I'm going to close out this window and now I'm going to launch Microsoft Word. So once you get within Word, you're going to want to go ahead and click on the mailings tab up here in the menu bar. And once you're on this mailings tab, the place you're going to start is select recipients. Go ahead and click on that. And then one of the options that appears is use an existing list. So go ahead and click on that option. And now we're simply going to navigate to where we saved that CSV file, which in my case was the desktop. And we're just going to go ahead and double click it. The screen that appears here, nothing you need to do on here, just click OK. That's just giving you a preview of the file that you're going to be merging in. And that's it. Now we're ready to go. So you'll see here there's a menu item that says Insert Merge Field. And when we click on this, you're going to see now all of the different fields that we exported out of Easy Select. So all these fields are available to you in your mail merge document. So for example, if I wanted to start off my letter with an address block at the top, I could say Company. And on the next line, we'll maybe put an attention line. And we'll say um, this Executive Salutation, Space, Executive First Name, Space, last name, comma, and then we'll say the executive title. Then on the, I'm going to go to the next line and we're going to do the mailing address. On the next line below that, we'll do the mailing city, comma, mailing state, space, mailing zip. I'm going to put a couple blank lines. Let's put the date 
And let's say I want this letter to be a little bit more formal. So I'm going to say dear, and I'm going to go back, and I'm going to say salutation, which is, of course, Mr. or Mrs., Dr. So dear, salutation, space, last name, comma, and that's it. So now we have some merge fields in here. At any time, I can click this button up here in the menu that says Preview Results. And this is going to show me what it looks like with my data merged in. So the first company, you'll see we have a senior software engineer. And it's merged in all the data very nicely. And you can use these arrows to scroll through and view all the different records that are in your file. So in my case, we had 78 records, so we could actually scroll through and view all of them if we wanted to. But this will show you how your data looks merged into the document. The other thing you can do with Microsoft Word is you can also merge in data to create labels and envelopes. Now, Easy Select has a feature that will allow you to create labels directly out of Easy Select, but there are only a few standard sizes available in there. If you want to create something a little bit more, uh, maybe it's a unique label size, or you want to do something a little bit more unique with the content of the label, you can still use the label or envelope feature right here within Microsoft Word. So for example, I can click on labels, and you'll see here by default, this is a Microsoft 30 per page address label. It's a standard label. And uh, we can go ahead and say new document, and you'll see it gives me a sheet of labels. And I'm going to go ahead and change the font to be a little bit smaller because the default font is a bit large for a label. If I go back to my mailings tab, I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the letter. I'm going to do select recipients, use an existing list. I'm going to navigate to my desktop where I saved that CSV file. And go ahead and double click it. Now, because I already brought this file in once before, I don't even see that little pop-up screen where it showed me my data. It's just ready to go. So, just as before, I can use the Insert Merge Field drop-down, and I can say Company, Next Line, Attention. We'll do Executive Salutation, Space, Executive's First Name, Space, Executive's Last Name comma, space, and we include a field in Easy Select called Executive Abbreviated Title, and this is the best one to use if you're doing a mailing label because of the length restrictions. So on the next line we can do, and remember these are breaking to a new line simply because these long uh, labels, these identifiers here for these fields don't fit on a single line, but once we merge data in it will all compress down to a single line if it's short enough. So let's go ahead now, we'll do the same thing, mailing address on one line, and then on the next line we will do mailing city, comma, mailing state, space, mailing zip. So now we have all the different components that we need. And let's just preview this quickly and see how it looks. So there it is, company name on the first line. Contact on the second line, it's, many of these are breaking over to a, uh, a, a third line because the titles are long. Here's a nice short one, President. Um, and the mailing address. We can scroll through these and, and look at countless examples. Um, if it, once it looks good and we want to make an actual sheet of labels, the process is very simple. You don't have to redo that for each one. You can just select the contents of this cell and choose copy you can come into each cell here and just either right click and say paste or I'm clicking control V with my keyboard which is the same thing paste and you can quickly just paste these in all the different cells and that way when you want to go ahead and print a sheet of labels You can put up to 30 on one sheet.
Now, again, we're just previewing here, which is why you see the same company on each one. But when we're actually ready to print, we can do finish and merge, and it'll actually uh, move to the next record in each one of these fields. And you can do the same thing with envelopes. It works in the same fashion as the labels. So you see you have a lot of flexibility here. There's nothing that you need to do to modify the file as it comes out of Easy Select. It's ready to go within Microsoft Word. It's just a matter of, of selecting it as a recipient list and then using the Insert Merge Field drop-down to drop in any of those fields from that file into your merge document, your labels, or your envelopes.